Hi all, Mass Barnkop from Kaiser Power Electronics. Welcome to this holiday edition special summer teardown. I found this German Weller cast uh, services yeah, balloon probe, I think it is. Uh, and we'll do a quick teardown of this. Let's see what can be possible just with my phone. The large yellow sticker here says that this is a radio, a radio transmitter to uh, measure air temperature, air um, humidity, the uh, direction of the wind, and also the direction of the wind and the speed of the wind. Uh, it belongs to the German uh, weather cast services and it says here that it's no longer used and can just be thrown out as electronics scrap. Um, and they would like you to email this address with the serial number of the unit. Now it is a uh, Vaisala radio transmitter RS41 slash SGP. Now uh, Vaisala do produce a lot of um, sensors and such, so that's a known name. Seems to have some wire sticking out the bottom here. And at the top we can actually see it has a flat band connector. Where it seems to have at least 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 wires going through. And I presume that the instruments actually sitting up here has broken off. So let's get it opened. This is the Vaisala radio transmitter datasheet. As we can see, it is the same unit. It is a styrofoam enclosure. And if we just go past all the sales information there, we can see it's a uh, platinum resistor used for the temperature measurement. It's a thin film capacitor for the humidity and a silicon capacitor for the pressure measurements. Uh, a little bit about the telemetry. You can see it uses the 400 megahertz band and it actually has a maximum transmitter range up to 350 kilometers. So this could actually have reached to, to send home data up here in Denmark as we are less than 350 kilometers from the German border. Cracking the styrofoam case here open was no problem. As we can see, it has taken a lot of damage from being in salt water. Uses two regular AA batteries. So a good thing we picked that up. Oh, it's actually ultimate lithium batteries. So not quite uh, your normal toy ca batteries for uh, the kids toys. And here on the back side, we see, seems to have some microcontrollers, some other smaller logic controllers, probably the GPS module has some uh, PCB antenna parts, and the long wire could be an antenna or the wind speed measurements. I'm not quite sure which that is. I'll try to wash this up a bit. With the board all cleaned up, we can see it is a nice gold-plated and very ground-stitched board. I guess they probably had some noise issues since they have paid so much attention to noise cancellation here. Now the main controller is a the 32F100 ST microcontroller. The main controller on the board is a STM32 microcontroller and not surprisingly it's the F100 value line. It is a pretty simple chip, but it has a 12-bit ADC and it runs on the ARM Cortex-M3 core at up to 24 MHz. And we also have the battery connectors sitting here. The battery enclosure were sitting on top of the microcontroller. So we can see we have the small power supply part sitting over here. We have a small antenna here at the bottom. At the back side, over here we have a... Uh, U-Blocks UBX G8010, which is a GPS chip. The UBX G8010 chip is the GPS location chip. And uh, as you can see here, it has high sensitivity, low power cons consumption, 
and advanced jamming and spoofing detection. So I think overall this was chosen for its yeah, simplistic specifications, but also getting the job done. And along the other small parts here is presumably um, operational amplifiers that convert the measurements from the instruments into signals for the microcontroller. Now the little add-on board here is actually the barometric sensor. It is the RPM 411. Now googling some of these parts you can actually find a lot of uh, forum threads. Uh, I saw there was at least some on EEV blog forum about arm dev boards falling from the sky and I guess that is a hint towards these um, weather balloon circuits yeah, falling down once the balloon pops. I hope you enjoyed this little quick teardown video of something that I found washing up on the beach. So you can also do teardown videos while being on vacation. So until next time, see ya!